Greetings and salutations. Everyone, welcome back to more Plants vs Zombies. Previously, we got the Cactus, Blover, and Split Pea. We also played Brick the Vase, but we dealt with Fame. We dealt with Balloon Zombies. This episode, well, we're going to do it next stage. Split Pea is going to be the main focus of the stage because you can see there, there's a minor zombie. They're jerks. They go well in the ground and attack your main base. So you don't want to deal with too many of them. Just figuring out what I want to tackle this with. Oh, hold up. Almost forgot the spud mines. Never forget the spud mine. But yeah, the miner zombies are going to be a bit annoying. Luckily they can only be on land, they can't be in water. So you just need to get a setup that takes care of the, of the flank, basically. Because drill is on, like dig zombies, you think, oh, they're going to go straight for a lawnmower and break it to your house. They actually don't do that. They specifically flank you to take care of your plants from behind. Which... It's good because obviously they could, if they could just sneak past you, they could just go past the lawnmower and boom, go into your house and game over, just like that. What's funny about them is that the, they shoot two pieces to the left, so on the left hand side they're a repeater, yet they're less expensive than them. Which is pretty good. But if you can get a good setup of them, like I say get at least one in a column. Game two might be overkill, but it's also not overkill. Then you're set. You'll just get through the stage of ease. There you go. Get that all set up. Okay, zombie at the top. That's fine, though. No? And that'll set up. Coin, free coin. The money. And my my main recommendation. Ooh, present. Hello. We unlock puzzle mode. Well, the last minute game we played was a puzzle, so we can play that. But what I recommend is when you're getting. Oh jeez, what's the name of it again? The split pea. Don't put it directly beside the lawnmowers, put it a column ahead of it. You will see that's a risk of losing sunflowers. And there it is. Oh, as you can see there he is. Uh, that ain't good. He's eating the sunflowers already. I didn't notice him flanking, to be completely honest. I'm gonna call, oh yeah, mushroom. Alright, do that. Plant that there. They don't take much damage, but I was just not very smart during all that. I wasn't paying attention to where he was gonna flank from. I seem to be spawning later. I just need to get back the sunflowers. And huge river zombies is approaching already, jeez. Well, luckily it's a victory, because we have the lawnmowers, so we're fine. And we have the upgrade version that goes through the water. So we're not going to be dealing with too much. 
What's wrong with dealing with flow? Oh, that's my zombie. Hello. <laughs> Just appearing out of nowhere. Uh, may as well get the splippy there. Now I can get 50 more sun, I can hit those guys. There you go. Now we have another new plant. The star fruit, I think it's called. Wow, I'm calling it like that, but if she starts in all five directions, it's a weaker version of Pichu that has five zombies at once. I will showcase it, but I think it's one of those plants that you don't really need. I never find a situation where you actually need it. Uh, we are dealing with minor zombies, need that. And obviously need the regular traps. I placed that one. Yeah. It's supposed to be there. Get rid of that mushroom. It's in the wrong place. He just panicked a little bit. That's why I played the spud mine now. I didn't need to, but I did. Eh, yeah, that'll cover that one for a little bit. I have to give us more time to wait for the sunflower to do his thing. Put that there. Set that. And sunflower. That stuff is good for the miners. Because they can, they can get them set up in a way they'll hit them multiple times. Like if I plant it here, it will shoot up to the left, right, and then diagonally to the left and right. Which is good. It just is 125 sun when you could just get a split pea for the same price. And it does basically the same job. That stuff is cool. I believe there is a stage, like a puzzle, where you have to line up all the different plants in the game. And that stuff is really good for that. Like you can make an AFK setup of it. I just don't see any reason to. They haven't been attacking the bottom row that much. Like, I just noticed that. Ever since I placed that spud mine, nothing has run into it. I wish I had a way to see if something. Oh, there's something. Oh my god. Finally, some action. There you go, another sunflower. Get another water shroom. And we have a star fruit that we could have placed. But I was never saving up for sunflowers. Not too worried just yet. But I'll place one now. And as you can see, it's just chewing out, doing its thing. I guess it's doing its thing fantastically. Not really. But it's, it's trying. But it's no spud mine, that's for sure. And again, I just recommend getting a split pee. It does the same job that the uh, that the uh, famous star fruit is meant to do, but it does it better. Like, I'd even recommend the cattail 
because the cattail can hit anything on screen. Like you can at least upgrade your lily pads. Here's your zombies. No. I did see balloon zombies. I'm kind of worried now. I know this dude is better. I didn't pay attention if there was a balloon zombie. Take care of that. It looks like we're relatively safe. But what's the harm in just a little overkill? Do that. Free coin. Fantastic. And I'll get a star fruit there. Just in case. You never know. But there's probably the only time you guys will actually see me willingly use the star fruit because I never use it past the stage. I don't actually use it normally either. Let's see, get rid of that. Get another split pea. Ah, <laughs> I was able to find some of the place of fame. I'm just planting stuff randomly now. I have no idea what the stage looks like. Yes, it's all like that. Sunflower's probably dead. But I can just replenish it instantly. Oh. Ah, there you go. Hey, the pumpkin. Oh, this is brilliant. New plant, the pumpkin, protects plants that are within a shell. It's a walnut and a tall nut combined, but better. Let's see what we're doing with a pilgrim's army. Oh, I believe they're just like javelins. Oh, whatever we got. Oh, I, oh wait, I have enough for this. Oh, I gotta get that. Buy the sunflower upgrade. So now we have this, but you have to have a sunflower in your inventory to use it. Which, that's worth it in my opinion. So grab these. No, not a squash. Obviously you want this. I do not see a driller zombie. But obviously I gotta have better offense. I'll get a lantern. And the skittish shroom. But I'll show you the flower upgrade. Hopefully. Well, I'll be able to. I've already explained what it does, but I may as well show it. Who's why not? I should have put the mushrooms over here and I could have gotten this guy. But I need more sun anyways. So, best I did what I did. And if this all works, I'll be able to shoot a pumpkin in this stage as well. Because a pumpkin's brilliant. 
It basically just gives your pants a lot more health. Ah. Plant that and wait for the siege room. Which. There we go. Regular shroom, another sunflower. Here, another sunflower, just a seven hour quick. Ah, just trying to see where these zombies show up. I right, sit so on the second row, that's fine. Get sunflower out again. And more sun, obviously. Let's upgrade one of the sunflowers, there you go. It just produces twice the sun. Oh. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with that. Unless. Maybe I can. It might be that I'm not actually able to deal with those guys just yet. It can't be right. Um, that I was going to say you could place a pumpkin first and then you could put a plant inside the pumpkin after you don't have to have something planted first it's just I recommended more there you go now you can see everything I will obviously protect that. Just thinking about how to tackle this situation because it may not actually have a way to take care of the poker guys. Final wave. No, I can't protect that. Do that. Okay, the poor guy is getting hit, he's just not dying. I'm just going to show off two plants in this, and there's not attacking this row anymore. So a save. It's just a bad call that I made earlier. Well, it wasn't a bad call, it's just the game being rude. They will not get past this one guy. Oh, maybe they will. No, go mushroom. He will not make it past this pumpkin. Oh, but it. Plant everything. He actually will make a past pumpkin. But now it's a magnet, which is going to be immensely helpful later on. 
But I'm gonna go back to main menu, and next episode we're gonna finish up World 4. This is gonna say we're World 3. Oh well, I'll see you guys then.